but we have to figure out why these hydrants were there that no one could use. Team 10 is holding people accountable over fire hydrants that were unusable, something the fire chief admitted he's known now for 30 years. Team 10 started digging in when firefighters couldn't use the nearest hydrant while a family's home burned down in the May wildfires. Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance is getting results and it's leading to changes in public safety for an entire community. A crane lifts a huge heap of metal in front of a burned down home. The man behind the controls knows where every one of those steel beams used to be. Took a lot to put them in there. Dave Roberts built his entire 5,000 square foot house. These two hands. It was lost in the Harmony Grove wildfire in May. Team 10 was there the day after the fire. Roberts told us the nearest hydrant didn't work. Yeah, the fire department said that it was rusted shut. Yeah and uh, they couldn't open them. When firefighters realized they couldn't use that hydrant, Roberts let them use all the water out of his pool to help save all of his neighbors' homes. I felt good about giving it to him, but we all would have felt better, I'm sure, if they had hoses hooked up to all the fire hydrants and pumping lots of water. Team 10 went to the Vallecitos Water District. General Manager Dennis Lamb said the hydrant was in their district and it was operational. He did, in fact, operate the valve two times within the last um, four years. He said they maintained the lines underneath the hydrant. Lamb said it's up to the fire department to make sure the hydrants above ground are working. The hydrant is in the Elfin Forest Harmony Grove Fire District. They serve 2,000 people in 11 square miles. Fire Chief Frank Tui told me the department can't use these fire hydrants. They are too high pressure, and the firefighters don't have the equipment to open them. He worked for the department when they were installed in the 80s. We were told at the time that these are really not hydrants. Don't consider them hydrants. They're too high pressure. They're not for for us to use. So actually they're off our radar. There are five high pressure hydrants like the one near Robert's home. They're all a part of the Elfin Forest Harmony Grove Fire Service area. Your area is 11 square miles and there's 2,000 people in there and you couldn't use five of the hydrants. Again, you keep calling them hydrants. We never considered them hydrants. We consider them a, a water source, but not one that we could use. They don't look like hydrants. They didn't act like hydrants. You had no idea these were hydrants. No, we knew that people, some people can call them hydrants. They're not usable to us, so we didn't even consider them. Did you ever reach out to maybe inquire about how you could use them? No. Is there a reason why? You know, I, I, uh, it was just uh, at that time, it didn't seem possible to use them. Chief Tui told me repeatedly this was not important. What happened in the past, how they got there, who put them there, why they're there, that's not really the issue. But we have to figure out why these hydrants were there that no one could use. Again, I'd like to stay on the positive. I called County Supervisor Bill Horn to get a resolution. How does this happen? Well, they were old, I guess they were old hydrants put in in the 80s. Um, and they hadn't been upgraded. Horn's office agreed to split the cost to replace the hydrants. So if something didn't work, I want to fix it right away. Um, and if it hadn't been for you guys, we wouldn't have known that. So I'll give you all the credit for it. But I still needed to know how the water district and fire department would stop this from happening again. I don't think you would see something built like that now, a day. But it was built. It was, but you and, don't. And this man's home burned down. And this was a just a, a gap in the service area. A gap in the service area when one homeowner needed it most. We should be protected like anybody in any community should be protected. Horn said the parts for the high pressure hydrants are ordered. They are adding a pressure reducer valve and a standard fire hydrant so all firefighters can use them and they'll recognize them. They talk, tell me that work should begin in four to six weeks. That's encouraging, but it's still confusing how this really happened. Who is to blame then that, that, that there was nothing functional there? So you heard both men. I mean, neither agency wanted to say that someone did something wrong, but um, Team 10 got a resolution. It took me one phone call. So something clearly c could have been done. But, you know, these two agencies allowed this to go on since the 80s. Wow. All right. Good work. Thanks.